The Sahara Desert is the largest in the world and experiences one of the harshest climates globally. The desert spans 11 countries and has been an area of interest for climate watches and archaeologists. Over the years, many discoveries have been made under the Sahara that have shaped the perception of mankind and our history. Here are some scientists' incredible discoveries under Sahara that changed everything. Like and share this video if you love such content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to inform you whenever we upload a new video. 1. 4.6 billion year old meteorite Whenever a meteorite falls to Earth, there will be evidence in the area where it made contact with the ground. One of these meteors was discovered in 2020 in the Sahara Desert. According to a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the meteor had many indicites, a black volcanic oil found in the area where tectonic plates collide. The properties of the rock have led scientists to believe that the rock was a piece of a protoplanet. Based on the dating from research, scientists believe that the rock broke off in the early stages of the solar system's development. Protoplanets are considered to be ancestors of the plants as we know them. There are various theories about this and how the solar system came to be. Most of the theories suggest that the protoplanets were way smaller than the moon in the solar system. They also suggest that they would have been the current solar system if they were to be formed. The stone is one of the scientists' incredible new discovery under Sahara that changed everything. The discovery has made us look at the solar system in a different light. Number 2. Supernova IA Explosion Evidence in 1992, scientists discovered a stone in the Sahara Desert, which was presumed to be the trace of the supernova IA explosion. The supernova explosion was a type of star explosion that caused some energetic waves in the universe. It is believed that the meteor's impact on the Earth led to the breaking of rocks and the development of the Great Sand Sea in southwestern Egypt. The supernova experience is also believed to have been the start of mankind after the dinosaurs were wiped from the Earth. Number 3. The Lost River Even though the Sahara Desert is dry at the moment, there was a time when the desert had water and rivers running through it. Climate change has covered up evidence of the rivers and lakes initially in the desert. But just like there was evidence of water being on Mars in the past, there has been evidence of rivers running through the Sahara Desert. One of these rivers seems to have dried out in Mauritania. An undersea canyon was also discovered that seems to have been the riverbed. Another confirmation of this river was a satellite image that shows the trail of said river. All this evidence points to rivers and other water resources in the Sahara Desert before everything changed. It is no wonder the whole concept of this desert keeps baffling scientists, geologists, and the general population. 4. Whales in the Sahara Don't let present looks fool you. There was a time when the Sahara Desert was so hot and humid that it had sea life. At the top of the list of these creatures was the well. You heard that right. In Wadi al hetan Egypt, there has been evidence of a Tethys Ocean. The ocean was also known as Whale Valley because of the numerous whales that inhabited the area. As the water dried away, the whales remained behind and died. Even though the sands of the desert covered the fossils, archaeologists were able to dig these bones up. The evidence goes to show just how much water was in the Sahara Desert at the moment. The shocking thing about these fossils is the fact that their bones had feet. It gives into the idea that some scientists had of whales. Theories explain that whales were land mammals but decided to go live in the sea. As a result, their bodies evolved and they lost the use of their feet since the feet were no longer necessary. While one might try to argue this out, the presence of whale fossils with limbs resembling feet does make quite the argument. If you have been with us until this point, take a minute to hit the like buttons and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. We produce content like this on many different topics. Now let's get back to our list of awesome discoveries. Number 13 will shock you. Number 5. Nabta Stones Despite the harsh living conditions in the desert, there will always be a group of people who make it a home. In the case of the Sahara Desert, these people come from the Neolithic tribes of the desert. These groups will make a home near a water source and build their lives there until the water dries up and they decide to move and start their new life elsewhere. When people lived in Nabta Playa about 6,000 years ago, the area was new to flooding. The rainwater created a lake in the area, which services the community. These tribes not only found sustenance there, but built their community. With the community came different practices. 
Based on archaeological findings, it is believed that these people would sacrifice their animals to a deity. There have been dug up bones of cows and sheep that were ritually buried. About 600 years ago, the community that stayed in the region set up large stones in a circle that had more rocks radiating outward. The rocks are evidence of one of the first astronomical aligned structures ever built. While there is no evidence of what these rocks were set up for, it is believed that the people were aligning them to Orion's belt. The rocks show that astrology matters have been here for a while and have had some significance to the region's people at that time. Number 6. Eye of the Sahara the Eye of the Sahara is also known as Glub Erika and is a structure that can be seen from outer space. The feature is found on the Ardar Plateaus near Wendane. The Rikat structure is believed to have links to the lost city of Atlantis. Even though the structure has been known to the locals for a while, it became known to the rest of the world in the 1960s when astronauts photographed it. They used the Eye of the Sahara's landmark when tracking their landing sequence. The structure is so big that it can be seen from outer space. The structure was then photographed after the landing of the astronauts by a satellite that helped give more data on the structure itself. The satellite was able to calculate the length and width of the eye as well as the depth it went to. It helped give a better perspective on the eye of the Sahara and its composition. The initial assumption people made was that the eye of the desert was caused by a meteor. Upon further study, scientists' incredible discovery under Sahara changes everything. It was discovered that there was no outer space interference and earthly influences caused the Eye of the Sahara. This discovery made the archaeologists want to dig further. The formation continues with rocks dating back to 100 million years before life on Earth existed. Some theories by philosophers like Plato claim that the Eye of the Sahara is connected to the lost city of Atlantis. Since it was found in Mauritania, it has been hiding in plain sight all these years. Since Atlantis is still being looked for, the Eye of the Sahara is still one of the mysteries that mankind is yet to understand. It is believed that the sinking of Atlantis led to a shift in climate change, which is experienced to date. 7. Clayton Rings The Sahara Desert remains a mystery, and with this next discovery, people were shocked at what the discovery was all about. The one thing most people have noticed when it comes to the Sahara is that there is so much that one needs to learn about the desert. One of these things is the Clayton Rings. These rings were found in Egypt, in one of the inhospitable parts of the Sahara Desert. These rings are conical and open at both ends. They were named after the person who discovered them, Patrick Andrew Clayton. They were discovered with other potters that have an opening, but the rings have never fitted as lids. There is no sign of them being used by Egyptians living by the Nile. Rather, most people believe they came from nomadic Egyptians who were herders. These rings are believed to be a part of the people that shaped Egyptian culture. They were discovered in areas where herders and hunters used to stay and areas away from these grounds. The disparity between these two locations made people question the significance of the rings. No one person has been able to pinpoint the use of the rings, yet the people who used them went to great lengths to transport them across deserts. Whatever their use was will stay a mystery to date since there is not one explorer that has been able to decipher them. 8. Dinosaur Fossil over the years, many fossils have been discovered in the desert. These fossils gave us a look into how life was a pre-human era. Some of the fossils found in the Sahara Desert were dinosaur fossils. While some might argue that dinosaurs never existed, the evidence backing this up is very clear. One of the fossils found was the fossil of the largest carnivore dinosaur to ever live, the Spinosaurus. Research shows that the Spinosaurus lived over 95 million years ago, stood 7 meters high, and was about 16 meters long. At that size, the Spinosaurus was bigger than what we now know as the T-Rex. This dinosaur had a huge sail of bones tusking out of its back and had several adaptations that had scientists in awe. Further studies show that the Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic dinosaur, pushing the idea that the Sahara had rivers and lakes flowing through it. The Spinosaurus bones were initially destroyed in World War II, so one could not study them further. It was not until the second set of fossils was discovered in Morocco that the researchers had the time to study it. Some of the findings of the Spinosaurus show that it lived partly in the water. It had long, flat feet, perfect for paddling, and nostrils placed high on its snout for easier breathing when mostly submerged. The sail on its back must have been as scary for inhabitants of the Earth back the same way we get scared of sharks today. The chilling discovery made after studying these fossils makes me glad there are no dinosaurs in my day. Aside from the Spinosaurus, the most significant find, other fossils have made it clear that the Sahara had so many dinosaurs inhabiting it. 9. The Lakes in the Sahara 
When you picture the Sahara, it is impossible to think of it as having any water sources. The truth is far from it. Based on the number of communities living in this desert and the number of lakes found in different parts of the Sahara, it is clear that there are water sources. Apart from Lake Chad, the largest lake in the Sahara, other lakes are in the desert. Records show that there are about 20 lakes in the Sahara Desert. The only reason no one talked about them is they are spun so wide it is easy to miss them. Based on how far apart they are, it would be unwise for you to go out searching for a drink in the desert. Best to take the supply with you. Some of the lakes are also salty, so the water might not be suitable for drinking. Nomadic families stay around these water sources since they need water for themselves and their livestock. It is a good thing they keep camels then. A cow would not survive the desert heat and lack of water. 10. World War II Kitty Hawk Plane during World War II, Flight Sergeant Dennis Copping disappeared while flying a damaged Kitty Hawk P-40. He boarded the flight on June 28, 1942 and was never heard from again. Search and rescue efforts amounted to nothing and people gave up on the search. It was not until 2010 that remains of the plane were found in the Sahara Desert. An oil worker stumbled upon them by chance since no one was looking. The strange thing was the aircraft was intact and did not look hampered with save that the parachute had been opened and was used to create a shelter by the plane. The plane was taken to Alamein and restored. Some people believe this was not the best course of action and the plane should have been left in the desert to honor the young pilot's memory. Others felt the restoration job was so shoddy it looked like a poor paint job. As for the remains of Flying Sergeant Dennis, there has been no evidence of his remains nearby. Whether he died in the desert or found his way to freedom is another mystery that the Sahara will continue holding on to. 11 home to sea monsters. The Sahara Desert is one of the areas archaeologists love looking around. At the same time, discovering fossils and whales might have been shocking. Other discoveries make me glad I live in this present era. One other discovery is that of sea monster fossils. While we have whales that spun several cruise ship lengths, the fossils found in the Sahara show that there were bigger sea monsters back in the day. One of the fossils' discoveries was that of the 9-meter-long crocodile named M. rex. M. rex is so far the biggest crocodile to have existed. It is believed that M. rex lived around Tethian's ocean since that was the only place to accommodate him at the time. At Tethius, M. rex used a big mouth and a big bite to feed on ocean turtles and fish. It is also believed that M. rex might have snacked on the carcass of large creatures that shared its home at Tethian's ocean. Compared to the present day crocodile, M. rex is a mammoth and would have been a sight and a terror in our day. Well. Libyan Desert Glass Do you think you know all there is to know about meteors and the wreckage they leave behind? Think again. One of the aftermaths of meteors striking Earth or any other planet is leaving behind cosmic beauties. It is believed that over 29 million years ago, a meteor struck Earth with so much energy that it melted the Libyan region into sheets of melted glass. While this killed most of the population on Earth, it left behind Libyan desert glass. Even though no one has done the crater left by the meteors, the Libyan desert glass remains to date. When Howard Carter opened the tomb of Tutankhamun, some of the treasures found were Libyan glass. One of these treasures was a bejeweled breastplate. At the center of this breastplate was a sacred scarab beetle carved from green glass. While it is likely that the Egyptians have no idea where the gals came from, it is obvious that this is one of the few treasures made from outwardly metal. There was even a dagger in the tomb that was made from iron that came from a meteorite. All these treasures show how many materials were left behind after the meteor strike. There is a theory that more treasures are yet to be discovered from Libyan desert glass. 13. Meteors and Craters The Sahara Desert has so many craters left behind by meteors. During the dinosaur period, so many meteors hit Earth which caused the extinction of most dinosaurs. The species that survived evolved into some of the animals as we know today. While not all of the craters have been found, archaeologists keep finding evidence of these events in the desert. The known ones are the meteor that hit near the Libyan desert and caused the formation of desert glass. It is believed that more discoveries will be made as time goes by. Craters might look interesting and fun, but if the dinosaur extinction is anything to go by, it is clear that this is not something we would want to experience in the present day. 14. The Lost Fortress One of the things satellite images have helped with is bringing to light things that might have been missed by explorers. Based on satellite imaging, areas around the Libyan desert look like humans occupied them. 
These are areas built to look like really sophisticated foresters. What satellite images do is figure out if certain patterns in inhabitable areas of the desert make sense. In collaboration with oil industries, archaeologists can move into these areas and take a closer look at everything. By taking a closer look, researchers could ascertain that the Garamantes occupied the area. Before Colonel Gaddafi toppled the Garamantes, they led a sophisticated life in the desert. The Garamantes flourished from around the 2nd century BC to until 7th century AD. Since the area they lived in was very arid, they dug underground channels to get water from their ancient reservoirs. With time, these reservoirs ran out of water and the fields withered. With time, the Sahara covered the fortresses built and the remains of the forest and villages. What remained was whatever the satellites could pick up from above. Fun Facts About the Sahara Before we go to the last discovery scientists have made about the Sahara, here are some fun facts that you should know about this desert. Did you know that the Sahara Desert is the largest in the world? It encompasses most of North Africa and some of East Africa along North Sudan. The desert spans the countries of Morocco, Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Western Sahara, Sudan, and Tunisia. The desert spans 3.6 million square miles and is as big as China or the USA. That is a lot of sun and heat. The Sahara Desert is occupants despite the heat. The nomads living in the Sahara are called Bedouin nomads and keep camels. Speaking of camels, the easiest way to get through the Sahara Desert is through camels. While a couple of cars might get through it, sand is slippery and if you run out of gas, you are on your own. Even though some areas have oil drills, most of the desert is bare. Getting to a gas station is not an option, so saddle up. One of the things the Sahara is known for is the high heat that it gets. Since there is very little vegetation, temperatures hit a staggering 136 degrees Fahrenheit. There are days when the temperature might drop, but it stays high for the better part. On the other hand, the temperatures at night drop to almost freezing, so it might take some getting used to. It still makes for a trip if you are up for it. Did you know that the Sahara Desert is more rock than sand? Most people assume that because deserts are made of sand, the Sahara is as well. While there was a time when the Sahara was very sandy, the wind blew most of the sand away and exposed the hard rocky underneath. As it stands, there is more rock in the Sahara. Watch out for that pebble and ensure you keep your toes tucked in safe when you take a walk next. The last fun fact about the Sahara is that it has been used as a set. The Star Wars franchise shoots in the Sahara, which gives it a futuristic and an out-of-this-world feeling. The desert has been used in movies like Mad Max Fury Road and continues to be the go-to location for people who want something unique and different. Now that we have covered most of the fun facts about the Sahara Desert, let's go back to our list. Before you finish this list, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We make shocking content, yet educational at the same time. Click the notification bell so you know whenever we upload a new video. The last discovery made by scientists about the Sahara Desert will shock you just as much as it shocked them. 15. The Sahara was once tropical and had vegetation. The one thing most people struggle to believe is that the Sahara Desert once covered with vegetation. Looking at it now with all the dunes and heat, one cannot imagine that the Sahara was green and luscious. However, satellite imaging and the presence of fossils show that this is true. The Sahara was humid and had vegetation. Sahara used to be a tropical area, and to understand how it became a desert, we need to look at the past. The Sahara used to experience both humidity and aridity caused by wobbles of the Earth's axis. The change is based on how the sun's rays hit the Earth's surface. Over time, there has been a change in how these rays get to the Earth. The northern part of Africa receives rain during the monsoon period, ensuring enough greenery and the rivers have water. About 450 years ago, the time between humidity and aridity happened so fast that the desert did not get sufficient rain. With this, the Sahara Desert developed into what we have today. There have been studies done by different researchers that tried to explain what happened to cause this to happen. One of the findings was that the Earth's tilt changed slightly, which meant that the Sahara region was exposed to the sun or longer. There was also evidence that overgrazing reduced the Earth's atmosphere, which led to the rapid development of the desert. In a way, the desertification of the Sahara was influenced by humans. Now you are in the know about all the awesome discoveries made by scientists, archaeologists, as well as geologists. If you loved this video, leave a like and comment below. It also helps to share this video with your friends since sharing is caring. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel today. We post informative videos like this regularly and you will learn more from us.